Welcome to Cooking with Whatever from Angie's Kitchen. Last item on drum roll for season one. My brother's request, Cornish hen. I'm going to prepare it in American style, uh, which means there is no ginger, no cumin, no uh, coriander powder. So let's start the process and let's see how it is done. This is me cutting the cornish in for the first time. Not bad, right? I season with salt and pepper and as for the herbs, rosemary and oregano from my garden, king oyster mushrooms and cauliflower. My brother loves cauliflower and mushrooms and one carrot for natural sweetness. And king oyster mushroom is my favorite too. And I'm using raw walnuts and unsweetened cranberry which I'll be sorting in salted butter later on. And for the cooking, I'm using unsalted butter. Uh, 20 shallots or pearl onions, 8 cloves of garlic and half a green apple and lots of crushed red pepper and chicken broth. And in a separate pan you add the unsalted butter and you season, I mean you uh, throw in the herbs, the crushed garlic and the crushed pearl onion or shallots. I'm using this stone to crush the garlic and the shallots. This stone here has a story and a history my dear friends. When my in-laws, when they got married, I think since then they've been using that stone. I call them Appa and Amma. They are no more and such loving people and I really, really love them a lot. And, um, you know, when I first married and I came into the house, my mother-in-law always has said, everything is yours, you know. I'll just smile and say, okay, you know. So in 1998, first time when I came to this country, uh, she asked me, like, what do you want to take with you? Meaning, you can take any jewelry or any silk clothing like that. And all I asked was, can I take this stone with me? <laughs> they laughed and they said, okay, sure, you can take it with you. Now, now back to the cooking. So what you do is you saute this for some time and so that all the aroma will come out and also the raw smell from the garlic and the onion will change into a nice aromatic smell. Make some room and add the seasoned chicken breast and the chicken thighs, skin side down, and we will be sauteing it on the both sides. After a few minutes, you flip it on the other side and you layer it with all the vegetables. Now back to the story. So coming to this country, you know we call our parents are loved ones in India and then I'm saying hey Appa how are you and then he said you know what Amma is crying so much I said like really in my mind I'm thinking oh she's really missing me a lot uh, so I was like why is she crying and you know what he said she's missing her stone <laughs> I'm like okay <laughs> it was okay and now guys I'm adding back to the cooking I'm adding the green apple trust me on this and please do not skip this it just brings the nice tartness and a mild sweetness and uh, it just brings the flavor out. So please do add half a green apple and then you add the desired uh, uh, salt as needed and lots of crushed red pepper. And I'm bringing the chicken uh, uh, breast on the top because it cooks so fast. And then you, I'm adding half a cup of uh, hot chicken broth. So while that is cooking in the meantime, in a separate pan, I'm adding salted butter and I'm, I'm sauteing the raw walnuts and cranberries and I'll be adding it to the dish. Um, now, I've been in this country since 1998 and I have this stone till today. And that is the story and the history of that stone, my dear friends. Thought of sharing that with you guys. And after 15 minutes of cooking, your Cornish hen is done. And please enjoy it as much as I did. Here you go, guys. Cornish hen. First time... I cut a whole chicken. I wish I could have done the whole chicken as is, but I did not have like a deeper and a bigger pan for that. So I had to like use uh, two thighs and two breast pieces and hopefully my brother will try it and give a thumbs up. I liked it, very flavorful. So thank you all so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Love you guys. Bye-bye. See you all in season two.